for most of us, these bizarre, otherworldly shapes are strangely beautiful. But the world's best aging researchers see something entirely different. They see the answer to possibly the most important and complex question of all time. Dr. Sinclair, as I look here, I'm seeing very cute little colored cubes. Well, these little cubes are actually the, the protein in our bodies that we believe controls the aging process. If he is right, Dr. David Sinclair has found one of the genetic keys that will reset our biological clocks. I think we've, we've passed a turning point in our, our understanding of the aging process. How did he discover these proteins? This looks like a barcode, but it's really a map of our genome, the blueprint for human life stored in every cell in our body. A few of these genes play a key role in the speed at which our cells age. Dr. Sinclair randomly tested tens of thousands of cells searching for the chemical that would activate those genes. We found them by accident. We stumbled upon this molecule from red wine. And when I, I looked on the computer, what is this resveratrol, and found that it was in red wine, I almost fell off my chair. Because, of course, we all have heard that red wine is good for you. Just so happens. I have red wine. To your health. How much of this would I have to drink to really make a difference? Well, our experiments tell us probably about a thousand bottles a day. So that was not the solution. Dr. Sinclair then went back to the lab and found a way to make resveratrol 1,000 times more potent. So what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene, which is called SIRT1, and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. And with that gene, activated in the mouse on the right by a high dose of resveratrol, she quickly turned into a mini Olympian, running twice as far as the untreated mouse on the left. And they were eating a high-fat diet, a fatty diet, and they lived just as long as a lean, healthy mouse, which means that they didn't get heart disease, cancer, even osteoporosis, and they lived 30% longer. Can you do this in humans? With the same exact gene. And we think that resveratrol could have similar benefits in people. Realizing the blockbuster potential for his new pill, Sinclair teamed up with biotech entrepreneur Chris Westfall, together raising more than $100 million for further research. And we think that we can increase healthy lifespan. So if you're in your 80s, you'll be behaving as if you were in your 50s. In the first human trial, a form of resveratrol successfully treated type 2 diabetes, one of the major diseases of aging. If everything goes very well, we will seek regulatory approval from the FDA in the next five years. I think a lot of people will say you're raising expectations. This, this can't possibly happen. My answer to that is, I agree, but it's true. What else can I say? Aging is really a set of diseases, and if we slow them down and cure them, people will live longer, healthier lives. And you're talking especially now about diabetes and Alzheimer's? So the major killers of Western society are exactly the diseases that should be able to be treated with the drugs we're developing. Well, you know what, doctor? Cheers. Cheers. When doctors perform cancer surgery, they often remove so much tissue that it leaves serious indentations. And when the surgery is done on the face, it can alter a person's appearance. Health specialist Denise Dador joins us now to explain how one doctor has developed a procedure to restore what was taken by the cancer. I haven't seen anything like this, so take a look at this. The science of stem cells can help doctors restore weak hearts and help heal joints. Now a local doctor is using adult stem cells to reconstruct tissue, nerves, and bone destroyed by cancer and the cancer. Treatment. It gave hope to one man who was told repeatedly nothing could be done to restore his face. My, my Take a good look at Herschel McCallion's face. You'd never know he used to have a gaping hole on the right side. I was very sad. I was very angry that uh, the doctors previously, they did the surgery even though it was the right things to do. He had a salivary gland cancer that required the removal of part of his jaw. I had a tremendous amount of pain in my jaw area because of the nerves they were basically exposed. I uh, uh, 
look for a reconstruction surgeon. Most doctors, they did not want to touch me. That is until he met cosmetic surgeon Dr. Nathan Newman. He pioneered a new treatment called the stem cell lift. He removes fat from the patient and harvests one of the body's most precious resource, adult stem cells. He then doubles and triples the concentration of stem cells before injecting. The stem cells is what brings in the new blood vessels, rebuilds the structures, re maintains the uh, volume by replacing the fat cells that die off. Not only can the fat and stem cells be used for cosmetic reasons, Dr. Newman says the stem cells are so smart they can also break up scarring caused by the cancer treatment and rebuild and reconstruct surrounding tissues. We take these uh, fat cells that are enriched with stem cells and put them next to bone. I can actually grow bone and make that bone stronger and bigger. Dr. Newman says there's no risk of rejection because you're using your own fat and stem cells. It took about two years and about 24 injections. Herschel says nobody can even tell he ever had a dent in his jaw, and the nerves and tissues appear to have healed. He has given me my face back, he has given me my confidence back, he has given me my hope back.